What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're going to be doing a... Let's do a... Ravnica Allegiance here on the Magic the Gathering. Oh, um, not doing it in an arena. Yeah, I got to mix it up for people. Sometimes they don't like the... Uh, we just lost like 20, 20 viewers, 25 viewers since I left. And it, like, it's funny because I don't know if that would be the case if there weren't like this oversaturation of MTG streamers right now. So like you have no incentive to just hang out in a streamer's chat that you are enjoying if they disappear for 10 minutes or so because you can just go watch a different stream. And it's kind of weird. It's kind of a weird thing, but I don't know. Ideally, it'll all settle down soon, but I don't... The problem is like... We went over it in the last video, but... Oh, dear YouTube, please make sure to wish Mike a happy birthday in the comments. We'll get him back with the birthday bonus. <laughs> Wow. Happy birthday, Mike. <laughs> oh, hey, it's birthday, Mike. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Mike. The birthday boy is here. Birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, buddy. Happy oh birthday. God, I hate you so much. Keep in mind, I didn't even tell them it was your birthday. So they knew on their own, man. Yeah, but you started it. Hmm. I said nothing. I said nothing about Not your today. birthday. Well, then how would they know it's your birthday today? Stop being ridiculous. Happy Kwanzaa, Mike. That's better. Is it? No. Okay. <laughs> Remember that time Michael Jackson was on The Simpsons? And then he sung Happy Birthday to Lisa? Nope. Happy Birthday, Lisa. I started your birthday, so he's your dad? Yeah, there you go. Wow. Congratulations. Chat's ESP is off the hook today. Yeah, it's, I'm impressed. They actually knew that it was Mike's birthday. Nope. Wow, this... uh Definitely not. These Ravnica Allegiance drafts on Magic Online are not... Uh, I guess we'll just have to switch over to Arena. Do you not want to draft? Wow, you don't even want to draft on Magic Online here? I think Arena actually is better for the standard drafts. I like the drafts on Arena. I think they're good. But people are like... I literally get comments today. And they were like, hey, thanks for drafting on Magic Online. I can't watch Arena. And I'm like, all right, I guess... You might just have to evolve. Not like evolve in a bad way, but like you might just have to adapt and figure out how to do it because like you're going to be left behind. <clears throat> when is your birthday? Oh, that's not for Mike. Mike's birthday is today, as you guys know. No, happy birthday, not. Michael. Nope. It's not today. Be sure to wish him a happy birthday in the comments, guys. He's he, definitely in April. So Every night when we're hanging out, he's like, hey, did I get any birthday comments? And I'm like, yeah, no. let me read them to you. And I read him all the birthday comments and he gets so, he just loves it so much. Join the stream. Should just, should just watch another stream. Police came around last night and told me my dogs were chasing people on bikes. My dogs don't even have bikes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I did it again. Isn't that worth like a million tickets? Oh uh, fuck, uh, thirty-three. So yep, just gonna put the old jellyfish. <laughs> The second time you opened the jellyfish? Yes! I've done like three drafts on Magic Online. And two of them I've gotten a Hydroid Crassus. Oh my god, you can't see the draft. Well, that was awkward, but it was a Hydroid Crassus. <laughs> oh, dang it, that moment got so bad. That sucks. Oh well, it's still a Hydroid Crassus. <laughs> Oh, I got so excited. And everyone now, was like... Now people are going to think you cheated. What's he excited about? I don't know. I thought it was up. I don't know why Arena would have been up there. Because I was on Magic Online. Now what do we take? Now I don't know, actually. Try to stay with the jellyfish colors or branch out? I mean, I think it's one of these two. I think this guy's just good enough to take, though. I got real excited about it, though. I got I real did. excited about it. Man, another Hackerbat? That's two Hackerbats. I'll just take Simic Guild Gate. Maybe we're just Gruel and we're splashing this. I don't know. Either way, I'm game. Man. God, what a what a what an opener. 
34 Ticarinos. That's like three drafts, well, my dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. Nick just sent me this. Goblin Nick in the chat just sent me <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay, well, that's amazing. That's actually incredible. <laughs> boy not today buddy not wow. today Make i think another one sure i think the erinx is better than savage eh, i think it's close but you can get more of this effect i'm just gonna take the erinx oh my god dude that's amazing it's a bit back but i was busy it was not michael jackson that sang to lisa he voiced it. yes it wasn't it wasn't the character itself wasn't michael jackson but it was michael jackson's voice Happy birthday, Lisa. Yeah, come on, dude. <clears throat> Wait, they had to get a sound alike? Oh, you're saying it wasn't Michael Jackson at all. That's interesting. What? Right in the streets. The one whose song was not actually voiced by... Oh, wow. That's crazy. You guys are giving me the, the Simpson trivia here. Scorchmark, Skitter Eel, Zerta Goblin, or Gruel Guild Gate. What, what's the pick here, buddy? Right in the streets. That's not even a card. It's the only card with Riot on it, boy. Oh, this guy? Yeah. Really? That was your pick, huh? I like two drops. Oh, God. This is going to be my... This is going to be me saying yes, and this is going to be no reason for it, right? Police came around last night and told me my dogs were chasing people on bikes. My dogs don't even have bikes. Yes! <laughs> wow, I did get really excited about that. You did it again. Is that worth like a million tickets? Uh, oh, Skewer the Critics or Gateway Plaza? Uh, 33. Critics. So, yep, just going to put the old jelly. <laughs> Second time you opened the jellyfish? Yes! I've done like three drafts on Magic Everyone's like, we can't see. And I'm like, oh no. And two of them I've gotten the Hydroid Crassus. Oh my god, you can't see the draft. Oh, uh, and that was the end. But it was the Hydroid. All right, well, that was actually, uh, well, that was a little awkward, if you know what I'm saying. I guess it's just Rebel Slinger. He slings for a Rebel. That's right. That's correct. Admiral, what's going on, buddy? <clears throat> Happy birthday, Michael. I don't I don't like I don't know how many gates we're gonna have. I don't wanna just rush into an ablaze. Ugh. Ugh. I don't love this pack. It's not great. I'm just gonna take a quench here. I feel pretty bad about it. Quench A. Playing auto chess? What is auto chess? <clears throat> Happy birthday, Mike. Michael, it's your birthday every day. Every day. Apparently. Did you know it was your birthday today? No. Now you do. C congratulations. It's okay. It'll be my birthday tomorrow, too. So. Well, you know, not everyone can have so many birthdays, Michael. I'm already like 67. God, he's getting so old. <coughs> To have an untapped creature control to add a blue. We can add a blue with this. I don't think it's great though. It's kind of it's kind of doo-doo card. I'll just take this in case. I just bought my husband a get better soon card. He's not sick. I just think he could get he could be better. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh my god, badge of these dad jokes. They're not terrible. Gateway Plaza, come on back. Happy birthday, Mike. I hope you had a good one. Me and Mike are going to go to the Publix for his birthday, and he's going to get some wings. We'll get him a little cake. Oh, Thrash Threat. That's a good one. Target creature control does damage equal to its power to a creature or a planeswalker. So it's basically a fight, but you don't have to you don't have to take damage. And then create a 4-4 beast for four. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're going to take that guy. 
Any special plans for your birthday? Yeah, I'm going to blow my brains out. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael, that's that's unfortunate. <clears throat> All right, so we're just splashing this guy at this point. We're basically gruel splashing this, this idiot. We could just be gruel and not play that. Uh, that seems like not an option. Why? Because it's... Like, why ruin your mana for one card, you know? You already won the draft, basically. Because Sphinx is, it's like a Sphinx's revelation for one blue. Yeah, but... And it gives you, like, a 6-6 six, six flyer. Yeah, but... Okay. Oh, he has flying, too? Yes, he has flying oh, and trample. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what flow Also, you don't either. have the, the X. Only, you only have the X for, for the cards drawn. So, like, and the life gained. So if you spend six mana on this, it's a 4-4 four, four flyer that draws you two and gains you two life. Oh, I do like this guy. I also like this guy, but we'll never get a second one. So eh, it's still a two-two. It's still actually just a premier two-two, mm -hmm. right? It's just a two-two becomes a four-four. Yeah, we're just taking this guy. Can you imagine if we did get a second one of these? Oof! I'll take the savage smash. Oh, another Simic Guildgate, and nothing really that good here. I I'm gonna take it over the Titanic Brawl, just because we took Savage Smash and we also have this. I'll play the cat if I literally don't have another <clears throat> two gates. Nothing for us. Fairy Duelist is alright, but probably just want stony strength, I guess. Stomping Ground? I don't actually hate that. And there's nothing really in this pack for us. I'll just take Stomping Ground. It's a nice little fix and land. <clears throat> Happy birthday, Michael! God, they just keep coming, man. Yeah, I know. Look how loved you are, though, man. Think about it. Mm. Is that the emotion we're going to go with? Loved? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course, man. What is would you troll, call it? Is trolled an emotion? But it's 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 out of love, though. It's trolled out of love. I probably want the volley in the sideboard instead of like a second one of these guys. Next time on Rebuilding Ravnica. <laughs> This stomping ground's a nice little fixer-upper. It has two beds, two baths, a nice little veranda. And it's selling for... I don't know if you've ever actually watched any of those fixer-upper shows. Yeah, I love those shows. They're super addictive. They're addictive, and the people who are buying the houses are also like, we only have a $17 million budget, so we really have to keep it keep it lower. And you're always like, what? Wow. What do you do? Oh, there's that cat. That cat's real loud. He thinks his dinner already. Mike, if you're going to boil your brains out, please use tequila. You wasted is, you wasted is so much fun. What? Oh, you wasted is so much fun. Wow. Did I say boil my <clears throat> brains out? I think you said blow. I'm a part-time Etsy artist, and my husband's unemployed. Our budget is six million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally how it is. Yeah, you're like, oh my god, what? Why do? You, how are you able to buy these houses? I don't understand. And they're like, well, this isn't really my dream home. I'd really like something with uh, more of, uh, like, maybe four stories instead of just two. Oh, well, okay. I, uh, the cat never eats around this time. Why is he yapping? He's just loud. Eyes Ever is pretty good. I think I'm just going to take the Gruel Guild Gate, though. I'm going to keep this fixing train going. The more Gruel Guild Gates we have, the more islands we can probably play. I would like more good two drops. One troll mic on his birthday bike. My bike. I said bike. I meant buck. But, you know, it's whatever. Rubble Ball Runner is reasonable. I'm just going to take the Guild Gate. If, we, if, we, if our pack three contains a bunch of, like, <clears throat> uh, Gate Colossuses and Gate Breaker Rams, I think we're... I mean, houses in, the, in certain parts of the south are pretty cheap. <laughs> like, if you live in a state where no one lives, you can get really cheap property. Yeah, you live. In, you also live in Seattle, so <clears throat> for 150k, you're likely getting a 97 square foot house. <laughs> it's it's a one room fixer upper. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> this one comes with a sink. Oh yeah, that's a good that's a good two drop. I'll put this over here as much as I like. I kind of like Regenesis because I can't think of anything more demoralizing than getting back like Hydroid Crassus, and it doesn't matter what else. Oh, actually, I wanted that volley for the sideboard anyway. We do have to find quite a few playables here. I guess we can play Quench and, 
essence capture and just be a little heavier blue. And yeah, we got a pack to go. We fine. All right, fine. <clears throat> I could literally rent a five bedroom house in Georgia for what I pay for my one bedroom in San Francisco. That's yeah, that sounds accurate. All right, we didn't open anything good here whatsoever. Hmm. Vertical circle is not a. You mean ver <laughs> verity circle? That's a vertical, vertical circle. circle. Uh, no, it's not that great. Hmm. Let's take the blue green fixer. Do we need another one? <clears throat> Probably. We can also like open the gates, which is actually oh sure, that's fine. Probably better because it's just it's just the same as. Yeah, I'll take open the gates here. Oh, a cinder vines. That's interesting. Whenever opponent casts a non-creature spell, it deals one damage to them, and you can sack it to destroy an artifact or an enchantment and deal two damage to them. Mm. I kind of just want the Savage Smash. Yeah, let's do that. That's just solid removal. <clears throat> yeah, I have to wear my shades to keep the haters out because my future's so bright. I don't think any of this is making sense. Oh, it does say destroy an enchantment. Dang, you got me. You got me. You're right. That would have been good. Ooh-wee. Actually, I like this five drop. We don't have any five drops yet, except for this regenesis. I'll just take that guy. What does regenesis even do? Uh, return to two permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand at instant speed. So you can go EOT. I'll get back Hydroid Crassus. We're just saying you wish there was enchantment removal. I was, which is why I wish I took it now. But, I mean, it's also rare, so it's not like it's super... Uh, it's not like it's a super efficient answer in this format. I don't even think that was a pun. I'd still probably take Savage Smash over it, but... Ooh, Flames of the Raise Boar seems interesting here. Deals 4 damage to a creature an opponent controls. Then if you have a 4 power creature, it deals 2 damage to each other creature they control. That's actually pretty good. I've never actually gotten to play with this card yet, so... We'll see if it's any good here. And you won't this time, because we'll never draw it. Oh, I like a Swirling Torrent as well. This card is great. All right, we're, our deck's coming together here. <laughs> I mean... I don't know, I'm just excited about this guy. Ooh, Sundering Shaman. Oh, boy. What the heck does that guy do? It's a 5-5 five, five for 4. It can't be blocked by one or... It can't be blocked by more than one creature. And whenever it deals combat damage, you destroy an artifact or enchantment. Seems pretty decent. Yeah, that guy's nuts. Nuts in that my guy's butts. A fatty for the low daddy. He's a fatty for the low daddy. Yeah. You know about low daddies? I actually don't know about low daddies. No. I'll tell you, you ever been to lowdaddies.com? <laughs> no. <laughs> don't go there. I don't know what that is, but I can't imagine it's a good site. Someone check. No, no one check lowdaddies.com. <laughs> you know there's people going right now, right? All right, so I'm just going to take this. There's nothing in this pack I care about. I think our I think we got we got I think we're 2 to 1. Is that what you're asking? I'll take this this it. I'll take the Rakdos Guild Gate. I don't know why, but it doesn't matter. Oh, I like this little guy. Eyes everywhere came back. That's fascinating. Yeah, I'll just take this guy. He's good against. He's good. he's a nice little speed bump. I have tremendous firewalls. I have the best firewalls. Dealey Coker, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. One low daddy buck. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I'll take this guy. I don't know. We're get, we're running low here. I really don't want to play this cat, but I really think it's necessary for the deck at this point. Roll bow runner is good. That guy'll make the cut. Just bought myself a crowbar. <laughs> Stupid, really. Birds don't even drink alcohol. Oh, my God. Wow. These jokes are on point. Oh, Badger with the jet, the dad jokes. Now I want to put Mew in my eyes. <laughs> and rightfully so, my friend. Rightfully so. This is 23. This looks good. I'm okay with it. Like, our removal is actually very good. Two Savage Smash, a Skewer the Critics, Swirling Flames this card kills things 
That's enough. We have some real solid creatures. I kind of like trying out the Regenesis here. We have this Bomb Daddy. All right. Well, I would have liked another Simic Guild game, but we do have Open the Gates as well, so. Birds don't even drink alcohol. Wow. Good times. <clears throat> Alright, so actually we have a ton of fixing lands, which is super nice. We can also bring in this Quench or this Essence Capture. We have Sagittarius and Ollie for the sideboard. Alright, I'm okay with what we're, what we're looking at here. Okay, so I'm going to add two because it gives us four sources and an open. I think that's fine. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think we've got a ten here. Five, six, seven, eight. This is five, ten, eleven, twelve. So this is 10-8. I think that's actually fine with one open the gates. 10-8-4. That's a 10-8-4, good buddy. Three is probably enough. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll cut one island. Because you don't actually need an island until like turn six or later, so I can get behind that. I want to add one more mountain because I want to be able to make sure we can cast this with double red and double blue, black, green. Double blue, black, green. You heard. <clears throat> it's a hard, hard card to cast. A hard card, card, hard to cast. Happy birthday, Mike. <laughs> Got him! <sighs> did I really get him, though? If it's just his birthday, is it? if it's just actually his birthday, did I really get him? Was watching on YouTube and remembered I can subscribe with Prime. We'll likely go back to that now. Oh, dang it. I guess that's okay. I mean, it's hard to complain that, like, you're you're choosing one form of content over another of mine, but... Valtrex Pummel Groin, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Here's the six more months of watches. That's actually, I like it because it's a double entendre. Watches in, in the sense that you're watching, and also watches because we talk about watches. Oh, this is, this is a hand, all right. So we can do it. Turn one, open the gates. Turn two, we'll play the Simic Guild Gate that we find. Look at that little dirt burger. Jarman, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. It's two sub babies and an extra month. That's true. That is true. I'm going to open the Gautes. I'm going to get this blue source. We could have gotten a Gruel Guild Gate um, because it does let us... It's a second red in case we draw Sundering Shaman. Is that what it's called? However, if we did that... I, like, our odds of hitting a red are significantly higher than hitting a, a random blue in the deck, so... Yeah, it's fine. It's also nice because we can <clears throat> play this next turn and... Or uh, one of these guys not have to take two from this because we can play it off of Forest, I guess. And then we have two four fours here, which is pretty good. I only have 30 minutes to watch, and YouTube lets me watch a whole draft now. <clears throat> now that I know how Twitch works, I'll be back. Dealey, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I hope you will be. It definitely helps. Oh, uh, yeah. 100% eating this guy. He did, his, he did his work. Game two. Good to go. Let's get a basic mountain off the top. We can also just play this and trade here, which I think is totally fine. I'd rather trade this guy. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go Creeper Boy into Guildgate. And if they don't actually kill this guy, we could thrash it next turn. Give you a good thrashing. Is Mike's Canadian girlfriend that goes to a different school coming to visit for his birthday? I don't think so. I think she's... uh. No, she had to work on a movie so she couldn't come. <laughs> she's on a movie set right now, so... It's been rough. <clears throat> Did you ever have a friend in school who had that one quote-unquote girlfriend that went to a different school? I think everyone had that friend, right? I definitely did. I think it's that's why funny. it's the meme, right? Actually, let's just pass here. 
I'll block, and if they want to, like, do some shenanigans here, then we get to kill it in response. That seems pretty okay. <clears throat> what do you call somebody with no body and no nose? Nobody knows. Well, that's hmm. a thing, isn't it? Oh, no. You want to get in there with a little, little dodger? A little dodger? Just kick something? Yeah. How dare you? And by kick, you mean tapped lightly. With your kick gland. Kick Tip. gland, huh? Yeah, yeah, buddy. <clears throat> yeah, buddy. All right, we're going to do it. I want to get their scary boy off the board. We did it. We got their scary boy off the board. <clears throat> Let's give a counter. And we'll play this guy. I'm just going to get in there. Even though we've given them perfect information about what we have. Let's see, four, five, six. If we draw a Hydroid Crassus here, we just get to play four, four flyer, draw two, gain two. That seems good. Oh my god, these dad jokes in the chat. I can't. <laughs> Can't be blocked this turn. All right, you got it. I'll take one. You're basically dead. Well, we only have nine turns left, which is actually well, that's pr pretty scary. Don't be a land. I thought I asked nicely, but I guess not. No, the deck thought you had an attitude, so I gave you a land. So you can actually block here, pump, just block with both. They just trade five five for this guy. actually miscounted the man I forgot we'd have to pay for this and I was like oh I guess we can't pump this guy now and now I feel bad about my choices however if they attack with this guy we can just block we can just jump here I guess it's I guess it's all fine I don't even know yep that's probably gonna be game <laughs> okay yeah that's that's pretty rough all right well I'm definitely blocking here if they attack with this yeah for sure oh no you're not going to Oh, okay, you are. No, you're not going to. Okay. Yeah, you are. Okay. We did it. Because I'm going to have to block a 5-5 five, five either way, so you're just letting me go to 3 instead of dying. Yeah. Nice. Close game. <laughs> Nine lands, huh? All right. See you later. Pi of apple pie is 250 in jamaica and three in the bahamas these are the pirates of the oh my god oh my god the channel tron you know what day it is fun frank to eat tacos day i don't think i'm having tacos today can i save it and eat them tomorrow man we can't get tacos tomorrow it's not tuesday oh god but i'm making all this sauce i'm making some gravy the sauce is gonna be bad tomorrow no but it's gonna be fresh today just keep it in the crock pot. Wow, for 24 hours? <laughs> yeah. My keep it God. Keep warm, you know? It'll be fine, I think. I don't know. You don't know, do you? No, I'll I keep don't. this hand. This hand seems good. I'm making my mother's Sunday gravy. Did you put an orange peel in there? I put orange peels every every day, bro. It's every day, bro. I think you're lying. As my as my my pro my mentor Jake Paul would say <laughs> hey man let me ask you something about yourself Okay. hey honesty stream ask Mike any question you want and he'll answer it he told me uh, to an extent no he said any question he's like I, I will not hold back okay I don't think I agreed to that I, you literally said it in the, in the kitchen before no didn't. I don't know why you do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have 50 mm -hmm. questions. That's reasonable. 
Mike, are you in love? Currently, no. Why not? Because I'm I'm filled with hate. It's the only emotion I have. That's a yikes for me, dog. Look at this steeple creeper. It's like one of the few creatures. Why that do you can... hang out with Frank when you are clearly the stronger of the duo? <laughs> oh, I feel bad for him. You know. Yikes. Uh, I will not use this ability. I will instead draw a land off the top of my deck. Oh, that was not a land. Would you look at that? Would you? Will you wear a chinchilla outfit during a stream and nibble on treats? Um, I don't have a chinchilla outfit. I don't know how I could get one. I don't think that's even a thing. But will you nibble on the treats? Mike, if you could punch one person from high school, who would it be? I don't know. I didn't really have anyone I hated in high school. Can you speak Portuguese? No. <laughs> Can you dunk a basketball? Uh, you probably small, could. Yeah, maybe. A small enough hoop. Are you happy? Uh, you know, it's on and off. It is on, yeah. Do you have any siblings? No, I'm a single child. A and single are, child? And are you happy single again? Children. Again, that's I'm on and off. single children. If you like it, then you should have put a child on it. That doesn't make any sense. I don't think that's what Beyonce intended. Prepare your kids for social media by putting their artwork on the fridge and writing a bunch of mean comments under it. Wow. Brutal. My two drop trades with your four drop? That seems like a good deal. And we can get it back with our regenesis. Untapped land is what I want now. Last game, they gave us too many lands. This is... Mike, are you going back to school to get your Pepper PhD? Um, maybe. <sighs> maybe? When will you know for sure? If you liked it, then you should have put a pepper PhD on it. That's what I always say. What's your favorite form of chocolate? That's a good question. Favorite form of chocolate? Hmm. I really like the chocolate that hardens on top of ice cream. I do too. I like. I love chocolate shell, man. God, it's so you weird. Have a one that got away story? Nah, I have a one who was a crazy and glad she got away story. That's about it. <laughs> that's like the literal opposite of a glad. That's like actually being. That's like being glad she got away. <laughs> right. That's not the same at all. How good a cook are you? Not very. I want I want you to watch what happens when I cast this hydroid crap. I'm not even maybe I don't even cast it here. Mike honesty stream. No fake answer. You get cursed and have to choose one flavor that everything you eat from now on will taste like. What flavor do you choose? The gun in my mouth. Because that would be horrible. I would never want to only have one taste for the rest of my life. That would be the worst thing ever. But if I had to choose Mother of God. Pizza. Pizza's a good taste. ready for this like who is the cooler hat mic or swell mic well that's that's i feel like that's a that's a that's a question that i don't really want to put out there all i had to do was put this on the stack <laughs> what is hat mic sorry swell mic i've known hat mic much yeah longer. he's known hat mic for years where do you see yourself in 10 minutes uh probably <laughs> here on the stream <laughs> unless we can win this draft skedaddle and hit the Publix in 10 minutes. I, I, I don't feel like he's going to go anywhere. Mike, what should I eat for dinner? Whatever your heart desires. But if you, want a, if you want a suggestion, chicken parmesan. That's a good suggestion. Man, you're really rattling these bad boys off. Trying. What's, the, uh, what's your favorite pizza topping combination? Uh, pepperoni and feta cheese. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's it's weird, but it's good. That is weird. You get the nice, you know, nice the nice bite from the, uh, from the, pepperoni, and then you get the the nice saltiness from the uh, from the feta. The salty, the, the feta is weird though. I don't know how to be. The feta is too a little too bitter for me. I like a I like a nice regat. No, that's what I like about it. What is your favorite mathematical constant? <laughs> e equals mc squared. I guess everybody wants to know, man. Yeah, you like the thing you should have put in my mouth. Actually, how about a, a squared plus B squared equals C squared? Michael, pineapple on pizza, yes or no? Uh, I'd go with a no. That's it's a no. Okay. No, it ain't. Stop it. I wouldn't turn it down, but I don't order it. Do you feel powerful wearing a pepper hat? Yes, obviously.
Mike, what is your favorite childhood ice cream from the ice cream truck? Um, hmm. I'm trying to remember because I didn't have it that often. I always liked a good ice cream sandwich. Who put the ice cream in the ice cream truck? What fashion this trend did you get into that embarrasses you to this day? I mean, I used to have trip pants, so that was pretty bad. Trip pants? Yeah. You what know, is that? Those are those, like, they got all the zippers and the chains on them. Wow. Like a like a member of Slipknot. Yeah, all right. Exactly. They're my, pretty, pretty, my God. pretty cringe. You think you know a guy, and then he tells you about his trip pants. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't know about the trip pants. Maybe that was a little after your time. I didn't know they were called that. Oh, okay. I worked at Hot Topic, man. Oh, then you should know what trip pants are. Right, but I just I didn't know they were called that. Yeah, that's the name of the brand, I believe. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. All right, so we're just going to play this guy. And they have two cards. I think we're doing okay. I think I just want untapped lands. Thank you. Clamber with the resub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Jazz boys. Kerwin with one Pythagorean buck. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably just going to block all these guys, man. If you got a pump spell, you got it. No, they don't? Okay. All right, oh, we got Mike. Were you a juggalo? No, it was not a juggalo. He was a juggalo. Uh, but I did listen to their music back in the day. Like, when I first heard of them, they were okay. And then I realized, like, there was so much, much better rap out there. So much, much better. Too much is. I was never a full-on juggalo, though. No, definitely not. He still is a full-on juggalo. Just I kind of wish I was because the juggalos are the homies, but, uh, you know. Wow, this is getting aggressive here. I'm not really... Oh, I knew about the Jinkos, too. Everyone knew about the Jinkos. Okay, we're going to put both of these guys on the top of your library now, but I don't know if that's going to be good enough. Mike, what was your favorite band from childhood to high school? Uh, ooh, that's tough. Probably like Black Sabbath or Led Zeppelin. I was really into them. Until until late high school when I started getting into hardcore, and then it kinda changed. Pull up on better hip hop, tribe called Quest or or Wu Tang Clan. Ooh, that's rough. Um I'd probably go with Wu Tang. They're a little more nostalgic to me. Well, if you like the Wu Tang, you should have put a ring on them. See there? Nah, see there's trash. <laughs> wow, this is getting. I'm not even. I can't even keep up over here. I'm just playing. I'm just trying to play this match and not lose. <laughs> well, there's been so many questions. I can't really pay attention to the game. I don't even know what's happening in the game. Mm -hmm. It looks mm -hmm. like we're not winning. Oh, we're winning, all right. Oh, I was really into Iron Maiden. Iron Man's a good one. Offspring, Green Day, Limp Biscuit, Lincoln Park, in order of when I like them. Oh. Oh, we did it wrong. Throwdown or Terror? Dang it. Um, yeah, we, we, we. I don't really remember we them did that wrong. That was pretty bad. Yep, that's pretty bad too. All right, so if we can draw Hydroid Crassus, we're good. But otherwise, I mean, I guess we could just block here. If they if we put the counter on here, they would just attack with this guy anyway. But I guess we're taking two extra damage here. Yeah, I'm just gonna block here because they don't really have much pressure. And if we can draw across this, it's actually pretty good. No, well, it does kill their thing. It does kill their thing. I mean, if they if they draw like plus four plus two, it's pretty bad. <laughs> but I think they would just played it last turn, right? So favorite type of red rye. Why is that? Is Vinny Paz better without or with? He has, is he missing teeth now? I didn't know anything about that. I don't even know who that is. Uh, he's the singer for Jedi Mind Tricks. Or the main rapper. You just made that up? Nope. It's okay, man. You just make stuff up. It's fine. Hydro Crass this one time. Like, mm. what dumb but great rare did you really want and get excited for when you started me? I love Ball Lightning. It was like my favorite card. Ball Lightning? Yeah. That's funny. I would not have expected that. 
I was really into red at first until I saw the light of blue. <laughs> and then I was like, but I could have more cards in my hand. Can you just draw land for crying out loud? Oh my blue god. Red's my favorite. Like if you could be a one person for one day, who would it be? I don't know. That's I like being me. I don't yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if oh. we hit Crassus, we get to Wait, I got it. If I could be one draw. person for one day, I would be Jeff Bezos and transferred ten billion dollars <laughs> to Michael to Bartholomew. Michael Bartholomew. <laughs> And that would be it. And then you could have it back. You wouldn't even know yep, it's missing. Cool. All right. So we lose because we draw literally 10 lands. And they draw six. And we can't really beat that. That's exactly what happened last game. It's almost like if you can draw more spells than creatures in Magic the Gathering and have some way to mitigate that. WWF or ECW. You lose less. Definitely WWF. Mike, if for how it went, if Mike, if for how it won up there too, what are be them? Mike, if... If for how it want up there too, what what are it be them? Well, you know what they say. You are what you am. Be them. <laughs> Ball lighting plus safe haven? Is that some kind of combo? I don't know what safe haven is. Exile a creature you control at the beginning of your upkeep. You may sacrifice it if you do return each card exile with safe haven to the battlefield. Oh, that's pretty cute. You get you get a second swing out of it. Come on, give me a red so I can play this guy into this guy. Or give me a three drop and then a red. I'll take that as well. Oh, they didn't play anything. Okay, well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are you going to block? Doubt it. Are you going to? Oh, this is fascinating. I was not expecting that. Hmm. Well, that was fascinating. No attack. Okay. All right. Well, no red. Guess that was too much to ask for with nine red sources in the deck. You can block here too. Okay, you're just taking no damage whatsoever. You're just like, I don't want to block. I don't want to take any damage at all. This is all very strange to me. If you could unban one card in Commander, which would it be? Rafelos. Because I like Rafelos as a commander. You're a maniac. <laughs> can I draw red now so I can play Sunder Shaman and Stony Sounds? Seems good. Sony Strength. I keep calling it Sony Silence. That's a completely different card. Oh, this is this is what's known as a blowout. That's a yikes for me, dog. If I couldn't have Rafael, just give me Emrakul back. <laughs> Emrakul? Oh god. Oh god. Well, you gotta pay 15 mana for it. It's totally fair. No, well, that was good. <sighs> Guess they flipped well. Well, they 50 50 did, so. Rockets fan, thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. Glad you think so. Must be nice to splash your Rakdos off of your red in your... I mean, we're splashing off of, like, five lands. I don't know what they have. Like, they could have more. They could have guild gates and stuff. Remember that time we went kill your grasping throw with a stony strength, and they just went like, yeah, but we have a Rakdos. And I was like, Cool. Oh, they also get two one ones from this. Yeah, that's cool. So I would just chump block here. You get two more blockers, and we basically can't win. Yep. This is going well. This is another. This is another O two draft with our Hydroid Crassus, and uh, I guess you can win the draft by the 
the tickets, but you can't win it by the the cards themselves. Yeah, I agree. I mean, to be fair, one, two, three, four, five versus one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. We've drawn twice as many lands as we have spells. So, Mike, what's your favorite? And we played a mythic bomb pizza franchise. Uh, I like Marcos a lot. I don't think I've ever had Marcos. They're good. What's your favorite book? Favorite book? I am Legend. I think I know that. I think you told me that. I don't, yeah, but it's not about just drafting the Crassus. Like I'd rather just win the matches because I'd like playing Magic and having competitive matches. Whereas, like, I mean, if they just have literally Rakdos and we can't really deal with it, then it's like, okay, well, that's not English really fun. English or American? Definitely American. English is too Englishy. I don't like get a lot of the references. It's they too have. British. Like the the humor is too dry. All right, I don't think we have. Oh, we actually can. We can savage stomp this guy if we draw savage stomp. I mean, it's not. It's not much, but it keeps us alive, I guess. Favorite cardinal direction. What does that mean? Yep. Cool. All right. Good times. <sighs> six six bomb flyers that kill your creatures. Good stuff. Wow. Fashionably late to the party. Sagittar's Volley. And Quench. We're going to bring in both of these. We had Double Savage Smash. That would have done it. Swirling Torrent would have been good. So we had actually three outs in that, in that match. going out of 16 land because we have opened the gates so it's basically like it's basically like 18 17 land still I'm not done Mike Omega Chonk or Sober Scrober that's <laughs> tough it's like asking me to choose one of my children choose one alright I'll go with Omega Chonker you have chosen wisely I'm just gonna run out guild gate because we don't actually need the to open the gates yet this hand feels good I'm feeling good about this hand. Although I was feeling good about the last one too, and then they went and did their shenanigans on us. Mike, which birthday was your favorite? By the way, happy birthday. My favorite birthday is my actual birthday, which is in April. It's in February. It's not. Got it. Guys. I kind of just want to pump this, but I think it's actually better to play the goblin and the land. Yeah, we're just going to... Is Mike the tax day baby? I have no idea what that means. Do you mean if my birthday is on April 15th or whatever? No, it's not. Tax day baby. Happy Veterans Day, Mike. Thank you for your service. Well, I'm not... I was never in the military, so... Well, not anymore, anyway. Not since his honorable discharge. Not since Nam. After he saved all those children. I'm really proud of you for that, man. Yeah. You can add up to three cards from Legacy to Modern. What do you wow, add? Wow, that's actually a good... That's a good exercise. Force of Will. Yep. Definitely agree with that one. Skull Clamp. No. No. <laughs> oh, man. Leobold? I think Leobold would be fine. Leobold is scary. It's a, such a scary card in general. For so well, Baleful Strix and Leobold would be my choices. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure they'd be. Ooh, Baleful Strix? That's a good one. I think that's a fair card. Sure. Hey, hey it's okay. They just played their second Wrath of God oh. in the deck. That's cool. It was. It was not. It was actually not cool. I had less than a good time. Oh, true name nemesis, man, that would be loads of fun. Palace jailer, you guys are naming really, really, really oppressive cards. I think palace jailer would be fine. Really, like against certain decks, like that don't have a way to deal you combat damage. Like you just, you're just the the monarch for the rest of the game. You have an uninteractable way to to, to draw a second card every turn. Yeah, but you gotta have a target for that, so. For what? I don't know what's going on about Black Lotus. Um, <laughs> Black Lotus isn't legal in Legacy either. 
All right. <laughs> okay. This is a good time we are having. Did you just blighting us? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yes, they did. I think they're just prepping for their Rakdos here. They're like, I'm just, let me get all my guys off the board. So they can go land and Rakdos. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Cool. Man, and they got it again, huh? So this is the second Magic Online draft I've done where I've went 0-2. So I've got that going for me. Multicolor creatures get plus one, plus one. Sure. That includes your guys too though, right? No, of course not. <sighs> yep. Thankfully, we got a Hydroid Crassus so that I don't have to feel terrible about. Uh... Yep, that does not do anything. I guess we get literal one more turn to maybe try try to find like Sagittar's Volley or something, but you know what? I got a bad feeling about it. Sure. That's a top tier card. So is this. They're literally playing Thirsting Shade Knight of Sorrows. Absolute garbage. <laughs> oh man. Good stuff. Unfortunately when they always draw their bomb rare, it doesn't It doesn't really actually matter. matter, yeah. Just gonna use this now because I don't see any reason not to. Yeah, that doesn't do anything. Especially because we only have five. All right. This was a great draft. I'm really glad we were, you guys were here to, to witness this fantastic, fun Rakdos Kaya's Wrath uh, draft followed by the other round. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. And I'll... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching.